let's talk about uh i want to hear from you first <laughs> i want to hear you <laughs> defend your boy bo nickel listen, and his performance against cody brundage please listen, what did you we, think <laughs> we just did our we, we i just we just uh watched <laughs> that fight back and i did gave him my breakdown which I'll, I'll give a little bit of a spoiler. He uh, he fought like a wrestler would fight, and uh, but I'll defend my boy, saying that uh, I, I love him. Uh, I do I I do say he is getting too much hate for. Mm. Well, he didn't do anything wrong necessarily, uh, but uh, I do I don't think he deserves the hate that he's coming his way. Mm. Uh, I think he did an okay job. Uh, I think he could have done better. I think he was, as we talked about, I think he was too focused on the finish. And I think that had him go over, he did decide to do submission over position, which we know position over submission. Yes. And we saw him, he just did a lot of things. He would trap the arm of, he would trap, uh, uh, he would trap his right arm and then that or his left arm and the left side of him would be on the fence so he couldn't get his leg in and mm. that that was struggle he should have went the other way to try and capture the uh arm on his on his on the right side and get his leg in that way however you know he, i think he did fine uh i will say we do we did see him struggle uh, to get mount at one time in the second round, we saw him uh, pick up uh, Brundage's leg, and mm. we see that what he should have done was step over and get into that like position where he's like in mount basically. However, as he is a wrestler, he decided to lift the leg, which is a very wrestling maneuver. In wrestling, we're taught that we need to be in a T position instead of an mm. I because in a T you can't get rolled over mm. uh, for when you're going for a pin. So we're always taught to be in that T position if we're going for a pin. So with him on his back, he went for that T position when he should have went for the uh, the I position for you wrestlers that are watching. Mm. Uh, the wrestlers know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but We'll it, put something on the screen. Yeah, yeah, we'll put something on the screen. But uh, this this seemed like a very much a wrestler type yeah. of fight and he needs to i think he's too green i think he needs to expand upon his bjj i i have said in the past i don't think yeah. att is the best yep. camp for him i don't think their jujitsu is good enough uh i think their jujitsu jujitsu is gonna hinder uh bo nickel and i've said in the past i think it will hinder gamrot and we have so we have seen gamrot actually regress in his bjj skills uh hmm. but um and i i think i think bo he fought he did what he needed to and we saw him make adjustments as uh we saw in the first round when he went for the the just the knee pick uh he went for the head where brundage got the underhook on yeah. uh bo and threw him out to the side and we saw bo do better instead he got the underhook as he went for the knee pick pushing him yeah, to the second time where he got yeah and yeah. that, that was another, just better. Yeah, I want to talk about another read he did. Well, not read, but like adjustment he did as well. He was struggling to get, I think he was in half guard and uh, pretty nice. He, with his um, outside leg, he basically pushed uh, Cody's leg to get to full mount. That was pretty nice, I will say. Um, I think that was in the second round, but yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. He's a bit too green in MMA grappling, and I think yes. Hamsat would murder him. I think he would toy with Bo, honestly, both in striking yeah. and grappling for MMA specifically. MMA. In MMA, yeah, yeah, yes. we've already talked about the wrestling. Yeah, and we, yeah. We, we, you but, know that he wouldn't stand a chance in regular wrestling, but that's yeah, not, no. this the, is the not rules regular wrestling. Change significantly how fighters approach fights, yeah. obviously. And obviously, I mean, different rules. We, we, we don't have to talk about this, but... Yeah, we, we don't have to talk about it. But I will say, mm -hmm. Bo, as good of a wrestler he is, he needs to improve on his cage wrestling. Mm. That is his biggest weakness right now. Besides his sub game and going for stuff. Uh, 
Bo, if you somehow do watch this, go train with John Dana here. Uh, hmm. Do not go to ATT. ATT, <laughs> as much as you think they are teaching you the correct things, Dana here will make you infinitely better. And you already have that Gordon Ryan, that Gordon Ryan hmm. uh, uh, plug, so you can just go and, tra- and train whenever. Yeah, and they will he should so definitely much. train with him. But yeah, no, I think honestly, talking about that. Um, submission of a position i think he just got carried away because of the sheer pressure like the odds the betting odds the expectations of everyone ufc 300 main card everyone's questioning you he is supposed to do so much better but you know we have to give a, a bit of credit to cody brundage he didn't make it easy for Bo. he's a wrestler himself he's very strong he has power so Bo did not want to strike with cody um and listen cody showed his strength i think he he threw bow like twice uh, yep. a couple of different ways and uh, a couple of decent scrambles he i mean i don't know that they, they, they cody did some good things but yeah bow got carried away um tried to get the finish and i think he got into his own head um yeah you know trying to get it but yeah i feel bad that he felt the need to put two thumbs down you know, I feel bad that that's his reaction after win, yeah. but he's definitely not ready for the top fifteen, in my opinion. No, definitely, he's not. not. I would, I'd say, uh, I would say give him like is Kapilov outside the rankings. I don't know who to give him honestly. I think I do think he needs a challenge, but I think Ikram. No, no, hold on. Who am I thinking of? Um, this is like redhead Russian cunt. What's his oh, name? Oh, uh, Pfeiffer. No, or... no, no. The, the Russian, Russian red Dagestani. The, are you talking about Ikram or? No, 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 no. The new sign. The uh, kick, oh, the... said, said, no, said uh, Nurmagomedov. Said, is it? You're talking about the one-eyed guy? Yeah, yeah. Said, said. I believe that's said Magomedov. No, that's not it. Anyway. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's not said. Day. It's um, <laughs> fucking. Oh, I forget his name. Yeah. I, I forgot. Anyway, but I think uh, that would be a good matchup for both guys. Yeah. So because you know, I think it'd be a good experience for both men, striker versus wrestler. Yeah. Um, you know. Shara, so. Shara Bull. Shara, Shara Bull. Magomedov. Yes. Yeah. Shara yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Definitely yeah. did not Google it. <laughs> uh, 